Last week on Sailing Bagheera, we had a man dash down to Bundaberg. So this week, that's where we start. We arrived back at Burnett Heads last night and stayed in the duck pond for the night. We're just coming into Port Bundaberg this morning. We've returned to make some essential repairs or urgent repairs to our generator that we've been without for several weeks now waiting on parts. So we're hoping that'll help make us uh, self-sufficient again. Heading up to the marina now. No sooner had we arrived at the marina than Grumpy and Ryan from Bundaberg Marine Maintenance were there ready to do their work. Just as an aside, we're not paid for any of these promotions, uh, but wherever we see good work done, we are happy to promote it. Uh, Grumpy and Ryan have turned up first thing in the morning to help us out, uh, get the generator back going. Uh, so Grumpy's got the reconditioned um, Exchanger. Heat exchanger, and then he's got to take measurements uh, off the motor uh, for the new water pump. Using a bit of old school knowledge, Grumpy machines a part for our boat for the new water pump. And as promised, he's finished within the day. Marinas are pretty social places, and Port Bundaberg Marina is no exception. Here we've met new like-minded people who are preparing to sail and cruise around Australia's east coast. So we're just pulling out from the fuel dock at Bundaberg Port Marina. And um, just going to wave goodbye to a couple of neighbours that we were beside. Sticks from Caparata. And Darren and Lisa from Satori. Sticks will always be known as the man who gave Cheryl a toilet seat. Bye! <laughs> Both starting out on their journeys as well, so we wish them all the best. Now other mate M over there from Bacchanalia. Just at the end of the jetty there. Oh, there's some other friends we've met. Kyle and Mary Ann from Begonia. Very social little place, Thunderbird. What a beautiful morning to be heading out though, so yeah. Originally we met Kyle and Mary Ann at Port Macquarie when we were stuck there and we've sort of kept in touch ever since. So hoping they get to go on their journey soon too. Okay, I was just about to put up the Jenica uh, when I was just checking the sail and noticed there was a little rip, a little tear up by the head of the Jenica. So um, I've got Cheryl on the job, um, she's fixed a few things on this boat so far with her magic uh, needle and thread, uh, including the main sail at one stage. Transference of knowledge from land to sea. Well done Cheryl. Heading north again, we stopped in at 1770 Gladstone and then back up to Keppel. The sail was pretty uneventful. With very light winds, I had plenty of practice of putting up the Jenica. One of our subscribers asked how we put it up. So here's a short video, sped up, showing how it was done. I just want to stress here that I am not a sailor. No one has shown me how to do this. It's all been trial and error and checking out other boats as they overtake me. willing to learn new skills so if anyone sees any improvements I can learn on how to set this sail up please leave a comment below.
some reason Murray thinks he's a mechanic now. <laughs> Just fixing the obvious. What you doing? Uh, the autopilot was making funny noises, so that had come off its bracket. So I put that back on. You know, I just noticed a couple of screws was come on. Beach. Just going to make it just before sunset. At least we are safely here. Last night we sailed into Great Keppel. Uh, this is Fisherman's Beach, uh, back where we've been before. It's like the last week never happened. As soon as you come in here, you feel so relaxed. Um, the weather's beautiful, it's a good anchorage, and we're back with our friends uh, on Karanga. Uh, that's them anchored over there, and uh, today we're going to go snorkeling over at the observatory. Cheryl and I have just bought stinger suits, hair Cheryl modelling hers now. GoPro accidentally gets switched over to time lapse, we lose our video unfortunately. But here's some photos that we accidentally took.
just after sunrise or just after 6 a.m. We're heading out from Fisherman's Meat on Great Keppel after we stood at our bow in respect of Anzacs and uh, we're just started off now and heading towards Double Island Creek following our mates on Karanga. Going to the Percy Islands, and uh, a tradition of the Percy Islands is you leave something with your boat name um, attached to the A-frame. That's, uh, that's at one of the islands there. So Cheryl's getting Wilson, which is our oversized uh, boy that I, yeah, that I found at Broughton Island, and it's going to write Bagheera on it uh, in seashells. So getting prepared. Not the best day to be doing it because it's pretty rough out here. Uh, we'll see how it ends. The riding's probably going to be all wonky. It's been a rough and rolly ride all the way up from Great Keppel to Island Big Creek and we're just coming through the entry here now. It'll be a relief to get here. So here's what Cheryl's made. This is Wilson, our oversized boy, and she's ended up painting saline Bagheera and decorated the Bagheera with seashells which she's picked up. Like She probably only needed a hundred shells, but she seemed to pick 5,000 off the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I will return them to the beach though. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if anyone's up at the Percy's, that'll be hanging there eventually. Well done Cheryl. Just so you know that life isn't always glamorous on a boat, here's Cheryl putting together uh, a new toilet seat which she was given by um, Brian's sticks. So now we've got a new white one. Take it off the old one, put the new one on. Beautiful! Cheryl's thrilled with that now. She's been wanting a new toilet seat for a long time. Thank you, Brian. Creek and we've just come over to the little beach to have a bit of a walk around. Much calmer in here last night than our sail down here. The winds are still pretty high today. This end of the beach reminded me of the Jurassic era. So this week we've travelled from Bundaberg back to Keppel Island and then Island Head Creek and that's where we'll leave it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave comments below. Uh, your feedback to us is important and we'll respond as soon as we can. See you next week. We'll just leave you with some additional photos of stuff we couldn't fit into the video this week. <laughs>